I hope you're all well. Holy shit, I feel like today's video is definitely going to be a bit of a controversial one, and I can already see my comment section going up in flames with mean comments. Um, but anyways, you know, to be honest with you guys, I really wasn't sure if I should be filming this video at all, but I do feel strongly about it, and I wanted to share my opinion with you guys. Now, obviously, I cannot tell anyone what they should or shouldn't buy. Buy whatever you love, and buy whatever the heck makes you happy. But like I said, I do have some feelings about this particular bag. I do have some thoughts that I want to share. Um, I kind of broke it up into like four or five points, because I didn't want this video to be too long because I could literally talk about this all day long. Uh, so yeah, these are just basically some points that I think you should take into consideration before really purchasing any designer bag, but especially this one. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right into this. Okay, let's talk about the good old, or I should say good new uh, Louis Vuitton bag. Um, so I feel like this is gonna be, like I said before, a bit controversial, but First of all, let me just say that I think it's a pretty bag. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you guys that I think it's ugly or hideous or anything like that because I don't think it is. Um, and when I first saw this bag, I thought it was cute and I thought that I might like it. Here is my issue with this bag. And before I go into that, let me just quickly say that I am all for influencers. I mean, I'm on YouTube. I'm all for, you know, seeing things on someone else and then purchasing them or, I don't know, following your favorite influencer Instagram or whatever and um, you know enjoying what they post and, and maybe purchasing things they post I do it all the time I've purchased so many things because I saw them on Instagram, but here is what I want to talk about I Really was so turned off by how this bag is being marketed. I really feel like it's way too aggressive for my liking um, They sent this bag out to so many Influencers how many times can I say the word influencers? Um, yeah, they sent it out to so many of them before it was even available to purchase online Which I feel like is kind of tricking us to think oh, this is the like this is the new it bag when really it's not We just have a bunch of influencers wearing it because they probably got it sent to them as a gift I don't know. I can't say for sure, but uh, I I just I don't like it you guys It really turns me off and it really makes me not want to buy it because I feel like they are trying to sell it to me in such an aggressive way and just like shove it down my throat, which is just, I, I don't know, it's just not something I like. It never has been. And yes, I buy trendy things all the time. I really do. But I think that before we do that, especially in the world we live in with Instagram and all that stuff, we should ask ourselves a couple of questions, um, especially if we're gonna spend that much money on an item. I mean, we're not talking about like a $50 bag. I think this bag retails for 1,600 and something dollars, which I think when I had originally looked up the price, it was 1,500, so it has already gone up in price, which is absolutely insane to me. So I just wanna go over a couple of points now that, or a couple of questions that you should ask yourself before you purchase this bag, if you're thinking about so it. So these are the questions that you should ask yourself, and I asked myself these, and the first one was, would I still want this bag if Instagram didn't exist? If Instagram didn't exist today, would I want to purchase this bag? Or do I just want to buy it because I want to take a picture of it and upload it to my Instagram for all of my followers to see? That is a really like, I don't know, I feel like that was deep. And my answer was probably not. Like, no, probably not. So th I feel like that's really something to think about. Next question. <laughs> um, is this bag a one season wonder? We don't know, right? It's not been around long enough, but it's definitely a question you should ask yourself. Obviously, we don't need to buy classic and timeless pieces all the time. I am the first one to tell you guys that. You know, buy what makes you happy. I buy, you know, lots of trendy bags all the time, but dropping a thousand plus dollars on a bag that might be totally out of style next year and you won't even love it anymore, I don't know, it's just a bit silly. So really, like we should really think about that. And I, I do that sometimes, like I don't think about that. Um, but with this bag, I, I really did think about it. Okay, this next one is really, really important. And um, it is, are you just wanting or loving this bag right now because you saw it on one of your favorite influencers? Or in this case, because you saw it on a million influencers. Um, that is like, that is a really, really, really good question to ask yourself because if you wouldn't have seen it on that person that you love or you know that you love their style of, um, would you still like it? If you just went into the store and looked at it, would you feel about it the same way? 
Again, my answer was no. I currently have a lot of bags on my wish list. Like, I really do. <laughs> Probably way too many to be honest with you guys. Um, but I was like, Angelique, would you still, like, not would you still, but would you, would you be happy purchasing this bag before or over any of the other bags that are currently on your wish list? Like, would it make you happy? Would you love it as much as you do the other bags that are on your wish list? Or are you really just wanting it right now because you're seeing it everywhere? By everywhere, I meaning on all of the influencers, which probably got it for free, and we don't even know if they would spend their own money on it. I'm not saying they wouldn't, but we don't know, right? How can we know? So I really chewed on that one for a while, and I thought to myself, you know, no, like I work hard for my money. I want to make sure that I purchase things that I'm going to love. I want to make sure that I purchase things that I'm going to get a lot of use out of and that make sense for me and my lifestyle. And with being in this world of Instagram and, and you know, all these influencers and, and YouTube and all that stuff, you know, it, it is great to be influenced and it is great to see things on other people that we might like. But what I don't think is great to have a brand again, shove something down your throat in such an aggressive way where you think you want something that you don't really want and then you go out and spend your hard earned money on something that you probably will, or I'm not saying probably, maybe you will, but that you could end up not loving after a while. And then what? So yeah, these are just some things to think about. And you guys, I would love, 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 love to hear your thoughts on this. I know a few of you really like this bag um, because you messaged me on Instagram about it. And uh, like I said, I, I don't think it's an ugly bag or anything. It is cute. But uh, yeah, let me know your opinion. Please do in the comment section. I would love to know because number one, I feel like I can't be the only person that thinks this way. But number two, I would also love to hear the other side. Like I would also love to hear from you guys if you did purchase it or if you're going to purchase it or whatever. Um, so yeah, I hope you like this. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.